Hello, hello, good afternoon or good morning, depending where you are in the world, and welcome to the Squibble Show Live. This is a place where we watch music videos, we chat about topics, we look at your artwork. Most importantly, we want to see your artwork. We want you to send it in to us. Send it in. Details are everywhere to send in your music. Submissions at thesquibbles.com. Send in your artwork. Submissions at thesquibbles.com. We want to champion you. We want to play you. We want to spread your artwork across the world. And that's what this show is all about. It's about talking about topics, celebrating music, art and creativity and draw alongs and just all the good stuff. So I'm going to start today's show with a little story from my book, Meet the Squibbles. You can get this on Amazon. You can get this on Amazon. And it's full of amazing characters. And see what you think. At the bottom of Mr. Pumpnoser's garden, not too far from you, there's a world of little creatures and none of them feel blue. They're wonky and squiggly, twisty and bibbly. Some of them smell, while others are squibbly. But all of them smile to make life feel much better. So shrink yourself down, maybe write them a letter. Show them you care with a laugh and some love. And if any are cheeky, just give them a shove. Meet the squibbles. Dear reader, and open your heart, turn the page, snuggle up, sit tight, and let's start. And here we have a map of Squibblesville. And we're going to pick a character on here today. And the character that we're going to choose is Kim and Kim. Because they're at the top of the map, and I think it makes sense. So... Let's read about Kim and Kim. Here they are. Oh, is it going to focus? There we go. If Kim is not holding a microphone and singing karaoke, you will find her watching the telly box eating popcorn or running around the countryside with her headphones on. She keeps a signed picture of Freddie in her tiny handbag. There's Freddie. There's Freddie there in her handbag. One of the characters. Her sister Kim follows her everywhere because they are twins. Well, let's meet the Squibbles. Like I said, it's available on Amazon. If you can just go to Amazon and check it out. You can buy this for, for your kids or for yourself. Or if you're a child watching, for you. Get mum and dad to get you a copy. Meet the Squibbles. We're going to go over to our... Fantastic X Spaces now. So this stream is also streaming on X.com. And if you if you are a user on there, you can jump into our spaces and you can have a chat with us. Um, there's a few people in our spaces at the moment, which is very exciting. So with, I'm going to go to that now. <laughs> well, 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 here we are. At X Spaces, I got to put my headphones on so I can hear everyone. Um, and um, if you're on the floor or if you're on on the top, honestly, my spaces is decided has decided as these things always do to start messing up. So <laughs> the spaces that I'm hosting, I can't actually see anyone. And on the um, computer, it says that people aren't even speaking. So it's all a bit potluck, really. Um, so I'm going to test it out. And I'm going to say, good morning, Jack Tuber. Can you hear me, Jack? Uh, I can hear you. <laughs> you can hear me and you're coming out of the phone. Let's see if we can get you coming out of the stereo. Oh, that's mm. better. Okay. Uh, I can hear you as well, Jack. How's your morning going so far? Uh, pretty good. What about you? I mean, yours. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, go on. Talk to me again, Jack. I couldn't hear a word you were saying, my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Uh, oh, well, my day's been pretty good. What about yours? Fantastic. My day has been really good, actually. I'm, 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 I'm just... I've been putting together a few things. I've been making sure that this show runs as smoothly as possible. Um, obviously, there's always going to be hitches and crazy stuff happening because there's a lot going on. But I love it. It makes me feel excited. It's like this high-pressure, crazy, wild TV show that probably will go wrong at some point. <laughs> what have you been doing? Have You've probably just, like, slinked out of bed, haven't you? Yep. Yep, I thought so. I wish I could have just got out of bed. I had to get up at half past six this morning. What time did you get up? Half six? Six forty five. Oh yeah, and I have a question. Go on, what's your question, Jack? How many things are you streaming this on? I know like it's on Twitter and Twitch. Right, so But is there anything else? Yeah, so I've I've stopped Twitch because of the nature of the platform. I didn't think it was suitable for a family show. And I should have done my research first, but anyway, it's streaming on YouTube now, which makes a lot more sense. Better audience on YouTube. So it's on youtube.com slash jstansfield. You can watch it streaming there. It's streaming on x.com slash jstansfield. It's streaming on there. And I'm also streaming on TikTok, which is kind of a backstage stream, if you will. Uh, but I think it's going well. I think it's, it's you know, doing doing all right so far. It's a lot. I need a producer, Jack. Do you know any producers? <laughs> uh, not in the area. Oh. <laughs> no. Why are they not in the area? <laughs> Where's a producer when you need one? <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, so what I need to do is I need to pin the live... Who's requesting to speak? Let's have a look. So my... my oh, my word. My spaces on my phone is not having a good time, unfortunately. Anyway, bah. our topic today is litter. We're going to talk about litter because it's something very close to my heart that's always irritated me and bothered me and needs sorting out. People don't seem to appreciate the long-term effects of litter, let alone the short-term effects of litter. And... We really need to be thinking hard about how we're treating our planet, don't we? You know, it's massively important. Um, I mean, littering, littering ruins natural beauty. You know, you might think that a cigarette butt is harmless. For example, that's a small thing that a lot of people throw on the ground. Or that fruit peel will decompose. But... You don't even realise how a stack of rubbish expands into landfill and just ends up ruining well-tendered green areas, you know. I mean, it happens. It's always happening. Masses of wind, you know, masses of uh, trash end up in the ocean because the wind blows it, they go down, it goes down rivers and things like that. And every year, enormous amounts of litter that we carelessly discard on the streets end up in the ocean this is extremely unfortunate little oh it endangers marine life degrades the natural beauty of bodies of water the world's oceans may already and this is a fact i'm going to read to you the world's oceans may already contain 150 million tons of plastic litter which is the equivalent of 25 million large elephants I mean, a significant amount of plastic waste winds up in the world's seas. It has the ability to move large distances on the wind or in rivers or in rains, like we said. And if nothing, and this is an interesting fact and a bit of a scary one, but if nothing is done by 2050, there may be more plastic in the world's oceans than fish. What do you think about that, Jack? I think it's really sad that we're doing that and really weird. It's pretty you know, awful, isn't it? More fish, that there's going to be more trash in the ocean than fish by 2050 if we don't do anything. Yep. I mean, littering can result in an automobile accident as well. I mean, that's the big grand earth problem, but because no one's looking, throwing a plastic bag out of your car is like, really easy to do however the wind might cause the bag to swing 
and seeing like an oddly shaped item approaching a car, creating attention and accidents. It can go on windscreens. There's even been um, it's even been known that plastic bags get stuck to the underside of cars and and can melt or un, onto the exhaust box because it's so hot, melts the plastic, and that can cause fires. What do you do with your litter, Jack? Well, whenever I, I litter, which is most likely on accident, I pick it up and throw it in the trash can or the recycling bin. That is the way. That is the way. That's what trash cans are made for, isn't it? Chucking rubbish in. You know, animals. Here's another example. Animals are killed by litter. Um, animals perish after becoming entangled in the rubbish that we discard. The majority of the creatures become entangled as they crawl inside bottles or plastic bags. They injure themselves, starve to death as they try to flee, and it results in the everyday slaughter of fish and the progressive decline of marine life because they're getting all trapped up and caught and, and perishing. So believe it or not, the garbage, the rubbish, the litter that we generate is actually endangering more underwater animals. It's not good, is it? Not at all. Not good at all. Um, Jack, you're going to have to help me, my friend, in, in our space today. If anyone requests to speak, so if you're listening in and you want to want to come up and have a chat about what we're talking about, please do. It's lovely to get conversation. It's streaming. It will be forever available online for people to listen back to and watch and hear and, and things. So if you want to come up and speak, please do. Jack will assist me because, like I said, my space has gone weird. And you'll have to let me know. You'll probably have to let me know who's... Um, Who's speaking, Jack? <laughs> so look, oh, I can see who's requested. That's good. Rainer, yay. So I can do that. That's that's worked. But I will just won't be able to see you speaking, probably. I might have to restart my space on the computer anyway. Rainer, it's lovely to hear from you. How are you? Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Jay. It's good to hear your voice this morning. This is my first time listening to Squibbles, um, and I'm not, well, I wasn't working before, like not as a teacher again, but I'm getting ready to head out the door here, and I get to take you along with me. That's lovely. How are you finding our discussion about litter? Really happy to hear how Jack responded with if I litter, it's only by accident, and what he does would be responsible because it really is scary uh, what litter can do when somebody thinks it's just them. Uh, alone littering, that's wrong because it's multiplied by all the people on earth who do it, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. It's not good. It's a, it's a collective effort. We need to We need to step up together and just really make more of an effort i think you know it's so important it's so important to do we um like i was saying before we don't really understand the long term ramifications well some of us don't understand the long term ramifications of litter i mean even farming farming is harmed by litter you know lit litter may harm crops and halt the growth um, and the accumulation of trash causes the deterioration of our natural environments. Animals, like we said, can perish from consuming items like plastic, plastic garbage or metals if they find litter on a farm. You know, it's, it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. You know what I enjoy watching are videos online with cleanups like people who clean up yards and different things and that's kind of left or tidying them up and that's led me to um pollution cleanup videos and it's been really neat to see in some different countries like a river you can't even tell if it's a river because it's so polluted and then you have a big group of people in the water cleaning it up and how it gets flowing again uh, i like seeing that and ocean cleanup and i love um i don't know the high school kid's name um he's one of 
many companies that created uh, ocean cleanup device, yeah. and they float around the ocean. I don't know what they're called off the top of my head, but anyway, they float around the ocean, and they pick up loads of garbage, and they have a schedule where they go out with boats and bring it in and empty it. Oh, we, we need more of that. We need more people doing that. I mean, we, we go out litter picking sometimes. We, we try and do it regularly, but we, we'll usually do our front and back street. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but imagine if every single person was to clean the front street and the back street. I mean, that would just be fantastic, wouldn't it? It'd be a lot less litter everywhere, in theory. That's the theory, anyway. Ellie and I go out and do that in our neighborhood. We'll take plastic bags on our walks and pick up garbage and bring them home. And a lot of times we'll post it on our neighborhood Facebook page and other people think, oh, I'm going to go out and do that. So you see people doing that. Yeah. And we've done it as a result of seeing others post too, yeah. not realizing there might be a need. See, I love that. We, we just need to do more of that together. You know, I've always thought we, ever since being 11, I've always thought we just need more campaigns about litter because people just don't appreciate the, the severity of even the tiniest piece of litter. I feel like the tiny pieces of litter were even worse than the large pieces of litter because they, they, they can get... In, into animals' lungs and things like that, um, and that's not cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go to a cartoon, and we're going to watch a cartoon from A Up Duck. You'll be able to hear it on Spaces if you're not watching live on YouTube or on X. So if, if, you, if you've just tuned in, we're live on X.com. We're also live on YouTube uh, slash J Stansfield. You can tune in there and watch it. You can tune into X and watch it. You can jump on our Spaces and have a chat with us if you want. Our topic's about litter, and this is a cartoon about the very topic we're talking about, all about litter. So I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you back here soon. know that there's a bin right there. Uh, we only have one planet, Weasel. Littering damages the habitats of small animals. Sorry, Hedgehog. I didn't know throwing my packet on the floor was harmful. It's really important we keep our community clean. That's right, Duck. If we all do a little bit, it makes a big difference. I want to make a difference, then.
There we go. Litter. Don't drop litter. Pick it up. That was A Up Duck, made by Kid Tunes UK. You can check out. There was three, three seasons on YouTube. A Up Duck, Kid Tunes UK. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Good for good for the kids. Good for learning, and good for talking about topics. Now we're going to do our art prompt now. So this part of the show is we come up with an art prompt that we can all draw together, and. You at home, if you're watching, please join in. Please draw along with the art prompt and send in your work when you've done it because we want to put it in our gallery. We'll be playing a gallery after the art prompt of things we've done in the past and we want to slowly start including your artwork too. If you want to send something in that's not been an art prompt, fantastic, send that as well. We also want to see your music videos. So let's, without further ado, we're going to come up with an art prompt. So we'll be back in a second. Yeah, it's time for the art prompt. Get your pen and paper or your tablet. Art prompt. Now then, boys and girls, let's do this. So. The way we do this is one person comes up with a word and then another person comes up with a word and then another person comes up with a word and that brings us to our art prompt. And that means that we can just, um, you know, draw the thing, do the thing. So I'm going to start with uh, hmm, Raina. Would you like to come up with the first word? Oh, the pressure. Um, happy. Okay, that's a good word, isn't it? I like that word. Jack? Oh, weasel. First thing <laughs> I can come up of. <laughs> happy weasel. And I'm going to... Um, <coughs> I want to try and tie it into our topic. So we've got happy weasel. I'm going to say picking. Go on, come up with another one, Raina. Singing. Say that again. Singing. Singing. So happy weasel, picking, singing. Litter. Litter. Is that what you just said, Jack? Litter? Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, once I can get back to my computer, because it's, it's decided to stop messing up. Standard. You know, just standard. Standard. Um, <laughs> we should be all right. Goodness me. Right, let me just work out why. That's happening first, and then we'll be all right. Oh, me, oh, my. Anyway. Happy weasel picking. Okay. Let's do it. Ten minutes. Draw along at home, please. Be fantastic if you could. Here's a bit of music. Let's do it. <laughs>
Okay, so that's the weasel. He's chucking some rubbish in the bin. Let's just. Blasting. They want the music to be blasting. <laughs> so here's Weasel, and I think we should give him a brown top and slightly darker brown legs. And we'll make this litter picker grey. Just drag the grey on like that. It's a bit too loud. We'll make his head this a lighter brown. Oops, turn that off. Make his head a lighter brown. Like that. We'll give him a little little pink tongue. And then make his mouth just slightly darker inside. We'll make his teeth white. Makes sense. The end of that litter picker, I think, needs to be... Let's make it yellow. Let's make the handle yellow. Now then, the bin. I think we should make the bin grey, because bins are usually grey. Let's fill all that bin in. Like so. Blip, 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 blip. Oops. I oh, quite like that, actually. I'll keep that. Make the grey a bit darker, like happy accidents. Happy accidents are good. Up there. Oops. Not too happy. That piece of litter needs redoing around the edge. <coughs> around the edges, I think. Like this. Do you know? I might put a few little dots on that bin. Maybe a few flies buzzing around because it's a bin a stinky bin so let's have a look I'm going to do a W on Weasel's top which stands for Weasel and I might do a few hairs on his face a Weasel's hairy or smooth I don't know all his body have hairs on it makes sense to me okay so he's doing that there's litter on the floor piece of paper like an old bag flying through the air oh no I'm going to write something I'm going to put pick Up your litter. Pick up your litter. That's what he's shouting. You know, when I was when I was eleven, I wrote a poem about litter, and I got it published in the local newspaper. And I was buzzing about that. And you can't really beat being celebrated for something you're passionate about, you know. And that's why I want your artwork on this stream. So we can see what you've done, see what you're drawing, see what you're creating. Really important. And if you're in this space and you're doing art, what I'd like you to do is, when you've done it, if you can post it into the comments, that would be very helpful. If you can't do that, then, well, then you can't. But it'd be ideal if you, if you did. Let's add some textures to the back. Not blue. Okay, well, let's make it big. Let's do that we need to sort of have a bit of sky. 
like that. Let's have maybe a bit of put this on the ground, like the ground a bit more prominent like that. Let's give it some texture. Maybe the sun could be coming out in the corner because it's picking the litter up and Mother Nature's happy about that. Always good. I think I'm happy with that. Quite happy with my piece of art there. Hmm, I like that. I'll just share that to the group. Let's go and share it. It's found where we are. Have we done Jack? Are you all sorted? I can't hear you one second, my friend. Go on. <laughs> I'm almost done. Almost done. So I'm going to try and pin mine to the top of a gam. Wish me luck. <laughs> Wish okay. me luck. <laughs> I have done it. <laughs> Rain has disappeared. I'm assuming she's had to start work or oh, got rubbed. One of those. You never know with these spaces. You never know what's going on. But I really enjoyed that. Um, and so let's see if we can open it up successfully and take a look at that one. Can you see man, Jack? Can you see it in the space? I see it. It's pretty cool. Do you like it? Uh-huh. He's kind of getting frustrated. He's like a frustrated weasel. Yeah. He's like, pick up your letter! <laughs> I'd really want to see yours, Jack. I can't wait for you to pin it up to the top if you've not done it yet. I'm almost sad. Um, if you've tuned in, if you've just tuned in, then you're watching the Squibbles live show, which is streaming live on YouTube, if that's where you are, or live on x.com, if that's where you are. If you're listening to the Spacers then you can go to youtube.com slash jstansfield or x.com slash jstansfield and you can watch the show back. Um, so, yeah, we'll just do this. We're currently just doing our art prompt and just waiting for our lovely friend, Jack Tuber, yep, to final. post his to the top, which we're going to have a look at in a second. And after this, we're going to just have a quick look at our gallery of some of the past art prompts that we've done during this session, which have been fantastic. And I can't wait to start making more collages of the work that we've done. We've done hundreds of them. Hundreds! It just looks so good. So you let us know when you've, when you've pinned it, Jack, or post it into the comments. Either way, I can see it and I'll be able to bring it up on screen to show everyone but until then um, what we're going to do is we shall have a quick look at the gallery while Jack gets that sorted and just see what some people have done over over the years uh, we'll just do that for a, couple, a minute or so
it's time for the art prompt. Get your pen and paper or your tablet. Art prompt. And we're back. Let's have a look at Jack's art prompt. Let's see what we've come up with. So our happy weasel picking, singing litter. Oh, look, I love that. I love your weasel. Look at his little face. Yep. <laughs> and the singing litter. The litter's so happy that it's being picked up. Yeah, so happy that it's singing. I love that, Jack. That is a fantastic piece of artwork, is that? <laughs> That's brilliant. You know, so the thing with litter as well is it's very expensive. It's really difficult to calculate just how much littering costs over the world. Many countries devote significant resources to cleaning and collecting trash, which is far more expensive than dealing with the litter effectively from the start. If they put money into campaigns, you know, maybe we'd be in a better place. We wouldn't wouldn't have a crowded sewer system, dirty streets. If we all just put litter in the bin where it belongs, the money spent cleaning the ocean, unclogging clogged sewers, and removing rubbish from the streets may be better spent. That's what I say. And think about the animals. So we're gonna look, gonna watch a little interview now, and there's also another draw along with. Frederick the Third. Now, Frederick the Third is our special horse. He only comes along now and again, but Frederick the Third loves drawing, loves talking to people, and so here is a little interview that he did with um, a young artist called Isla. I hope you enjoy it. Some good conversation, and we shall be back very soon. So enjoy this. 